You can make milk and that's kind of a superpower. It's amazing knowing what's in milk. Your body is evolved to be able to produce it for your baby. Once you know how amazing breast milk is, why wouldn't you want to do that? When we have children, we want to do everything for them. Their diet should be the number one focus. Human milk is a model for the modern chemist. I don't think there's one secret to human health, but I think oligosaccharides uh, are pretty interesting. So imagine our surprise when we find out that the third most abundant component in milk is undigestible by the baby. So then the question was, what are these sugar polymers that are in such high abundance in the milk doing for the baby if the baby doesn't digest them? One of their major functions is to feed the infant gut microbiome. Mom is passing on specific bacteria to the baby, and then those bacteria are fed by the milk that that mother produces. And they're using this structure-specific oligosaccharides to make sure that only this bacteria flourishes. What an idea. Babies need a correct seeding of the microbiome so that the, the infant gut can actually ferment the milk oligosaccharides that mom's delivering. It's really important to have the right microbiome composition to educate the immune system to know what is harmful, what is not. And I think nature intended that to happen and I think we've managed to disrupt that in the, in the world today. But we're starting to realize that if the microbiome doesn't develop normally during early life, you can have a misfiring of the immune system, which results in um, things like a food allergy, where the immune system is reacting to something that's actually harmless. So all of these things appear to be interconnected in ways that all relate back to the microbiome. I'm Tony Harmon, producer of the film Microbirth and founder of Microbiome Courses. I'm excited to introduce Breast Milk Scientific, a free online learning event for health professionals. Approved for one LSERP and one CBD hour, the event features short videos with seven leading scientists, a mini course, and a live webinar focusing on the differences between HMOs in breast milk and HMOs in infant formula. Breast milk is personalized in a way that's completely fascinating and could never be replicated by any infant formula. By adding HMOs, for instance, to formula, it's closer to human milk the same way that I'm closer to the moon when I stand on the top of this building. It's a very personal decision that mom has to make herself. And the only thing that we can really do is help her make a better informed decision. And the way we do that is by generating solid evidence-based data that shows how beneficial human milk is. We now realize the urgency of the legacy of this science. It's causing scientists themselves to rethink how biology works. Breastfeeding is really amazing. It's evolved over millions of years for this one purpose. It's really better than anything we could design or manufacture. The health of the human population depends more than any single factor on breast feeding babies. I look forward to seeing you at Breast Milk Scientific. It's completely free to register and you can book your seat now at breastmilkscientific.com. Mm.